So let's get, give a proof of a very important crystallographic relationship known as Weisstone law using a reciprocal lattice. So Weiss, Weiss zone law. What is this law? This law is very simple but very powerful. It says that if you have a plane, if you have a plane and in our crystallographic system, we have given this plane a Miller indices HKL. So this is an HKL plane. And then if you have a direction lying in this plane, I have a direction lying in this plane and I again in the same crystallographic system, I give it a Miller indices UV. W. Note the use of brackets for Miller indices of planes. We use the round bracket or parentheses and for the direction we use the square brackets. Now the Weistone law simply states that if the direction UVW lies in the plane HKL then the relationship HU plus kv plus lw will be equal to zero this is what is the weiss john law now how do we prove it we can prove it using purely a real lattice or direct lattice concepts or we can use the reciprocal lattice concept which makes the simple which makes the proof very simple and interesting. So let us use the reciprocal lattice concept. In the reciprocal lattice, one of the properties of the reciprocal lattice vector G star HKL. So I am constructing a reciprocal lattice vector with the same numbers HKL as our Miller indices of the plane. And what is this reciprocal lattice vector? This is H times A1 star plus K times A2 star plus L times A3 star, where A1 star, A2 star, and A3 star are the reciprocal basis vector. A1 star, A2 star, A3 star, a reciprocal basis vector. So this is the property of a reciprocal lattice. So the reciprocal lattice vector G star HKL will always be perpendicular to the plane HKL. Now the UVW direction, I can construct a vector in that direction also. And it means that there is a vector UA1 plus VA2 plus WA3 which is in the direction of UVW. And here A1, A2, A3 are real. space basis vectors. So now, how do we prove this Weiss-Jones law? So th this is uh, a very obvious relationship now because the reciprocal lattice vector is perpendicular to the plane whereas the real lattice vector R, let me call it R U V W just to be sure. So the real lattice vector R UVW is lying in the plane. So a plane normal will be perpendicular to all the vectors in the plane. So this plane normal, this plane normal G star HKL is obviously perpendicular to the direction or the vector 
R U V W. And the condition for perpendicularity, as you know, can be presented as a dot product. So I write that G star H K L dot R U V W is equal to zero. Dot product has to be zero. If the dot product is zero, then now we can write these vectors in terms of their definitions. So G star H K L is H A one star plus K A two star plus L A three star dot R U V W we have seen is U A one plus V A two plus W A three and this dot product has to be zero because these two vectors are perpendicular. All we have to do now is to expand, open these bracket and expand. So we have nine terms with different dot products. So we will have H U A one star dot A one plus H V a one star dot a two plus h w a one star dot a three plus so this was multiplying h a one star with all the terms in the second bracket. Now I can multiply k a two star with all the terms in the second bracket. So I get k u a2 star dot a1 plus k v a2 star dot a2 plus k w a2 star dot a3 and finally by multiplying this last term of the first bracket with all the terms in the last bracket second bracket we get l a3 star dot a1 sorry l u l u a3 star dot a1 l v a3 star dot a2 plus l w a3 star dot a3. This looks like a long expression, nine terms and so on. But recall the nice definition of the reciprocal lattice vectors, the basis vector. A nice simple relationship and that was that all these cross dot products, a1 star dot a2, this will be zero, a1 star dot a3, zero, a2 star dot a1 0 a2 star dot a3 0 a3 star a1 0 a3 star a2 0 and all the remaining dot product a1 star dot a1 this is equal to 1 a2 star dot a2 is equal to 1 r dot a3 is equal to 1 so we are left with a nice simple relationship H U plus K V plus L W is equal to zero. And wow, this is what is our wise John law. So wise John law is telling us nothing but the fact that U V W vector in real space is perpendicular to the HKL vector in reciprocal space. Note that we have not used any way, we have not used any special crystal system. We are not saying that this is true for cubic or for tetragonal or hexagonal in general. So it's a totally general result. That's the power of the relationship that irrespective of the fact that whether we are working in with any of those seven crystal system, the fact that G star HKL is perpendicular to HKL plane is always true. And so this relationship 
will always be true. Thank you.